My name's Neil Thubron. I'm the race director of the Humanity Direct Tring Ultra. And I just want to stay, start by saying thank you so much for entering the event. The event is absolutely full with a waiting list. And we're really, really looking forward to welcoming you to the start line in a few weeks' time. Clearly, it's great to be out doing a physical event. We're excited. We know you're excited to be out doing it as well. There, there are going to be some changes, and I just want to give you a couple of updates on that now. But also, in this email, you'll see written down some of those updates too. So the first thing to update you on is the route. So we've had to alter the route because getting permissions from landowners at the moment is proving really challenging. I'm sure you've heard that from other event organisers as well. Forestry England are not allowing any events going through their land at the moment. So Wendover Woods, we cannot go through, which is on the first loop of this 50k. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the second loop twice. So it's 25 kilometres twice. It's a lovely section of the route. It takes in the Grand Union Canal. It takes in Ashridge Estate, out to Ivinghoe Beacon, and then on the Ridgeway, back round to the canal when you go round again. It's a lovely route, and we know that just getting out there and doing 50k is going to be really special for you and, and all of the people taking part. The second thing to update you on is obviously there's going to be changes when you arrive and when you start. So we're going to have a rolling start that will start from 8 o'clock in the morning, and we'll send more details out about this nearer the time. But the important thing to note now is you need to go back into your online entry on Ultra Britain and select on there the start time block. There's 15 minute slots with 20 people going off in each 15 minute slot. Select the tar start time block you want to go off in. Ideally, you want the slowest people going off first and the fastest people later, but we can't control that. So pick the slot that you know that you want to pick. Um, so that's going to then we're going to ask you not to turn up too early and to stay in your car until roughly 30 minutes before the start when you'll then go through a medical check where you'll get your temperature checked. You'll uh, have to answer a few questions. You'll have to write your number. Uh, we'll write your number on your hand or on somewhere on your body. And then you go and collect your um, you go and collect your race tag and then get ready to go through the start. You'll be called forward and then you'll go through the start arch and you'll be off. So that's one area that's going to be different. It's also going to be different at checkpoints because we're going to have to control the number of people into the checkpoints. And then the food is going to be prepackaged food. And so we're saying to people, bring as much as the food you need. I mean, it's 50K. You're not going to need too much. But bring what you need to, to get round. But we'll also have plenty out there. But it will be different to normal. Uh, obviously, there's lots of water and stuff out there too. So then when we're, uh, we're uh, coming back to the finish, when you come through the finish arch, you pick up your medal, you'll hand your tag in, um, and then you'll head off. So we're not doing any prize givings, we'll not have any communal get togethers afterwards. It'll just be once you're in, we need you to head off, grab, get into your car and head off home. We're gonna miss out on seeing you and spending time with you, but that's just the way it is at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, we will send out prizes and medal uh, and uh, trophies later on. So. Those are some of the things that are going to be different. It's clearly all for Humanity Direct. So if you are fundraising, if you've got a free place in your fundraising, please push that. Please try and get as much money in as you can. If you want to donate to the great charity that is Humanity Direct and all of the entry fees for this event go to the charity, don't cover any of the costs. So please donate. They do a fantastic job um, in Uganda. And the final thing is, if you've got any crew, family, friends, or you're injured and you can't run, please uh, go to our volunteer page of our website and volunteer to take part, or just drop us an email. It'd be lovely to have you there as crew, because with the current situation, we're going to need as much support as we can. Anyway, bottom line is, we can't wait to get going again. We can't wait to see you on the start line, running around the route in this new world we're in, but we're back out on the trails. Look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks.